16 things that I love and hate about traveling to New York City. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, entertaining. In this video, I'll tell you some of the things that I love and hate about traveling to New York. 16 things, but I'm gonna start with number zero, and it's number zero because it's where I'm shooting this video, which is Central Park. I love Central Park. Central Park is known as New York City's backyard. I'm here in February, and in that case, New York City's backyard is a white, winter, snowy wonderland. So, okay, we'll go on to the first thing I love about visiting New York City, and that is the food. The food in New York City is absolutely amazing. Uh, New York pizza, famous around the world. You can stop in all these places, get pizza by the slice. Um, you'll find ethnic food from around the world here. Some of the food in Chinatown is the best ever. New York has some of the best high-end restaurants, but they have some of the best cheapest restaurants too. Okay, number two. What do I hate about New York? Well, my first experience about getting to New York City is typically arriving here at an airport. So, yes, I hate New York City airports. Airports, New York has three of them. LaGuardia, JFK, and Newark. And those three airports are consistently ranked in the bottom of all airports in the world. They are awful, I hate them, uh, and if you come to New York, you probably will too. You just gotta suffer through it and uh, get into the city. Okay, the next item, number three, something I love, and this is another food item, but it's particularly cart food. Uh, all throughout New York City are these carts that are vending food right out on the streets. Uh, one of my favorites is Halal Guys. Uh, you can find it on the corner of 6th Avenue and 53rd Street, 52nd Street, something right around there. Uh, here's a little thing that shows you what Halal Guys looks like. They have like 8,000 reviews on Yelp. Truly delicious food. You'll find a lot of other delicious cart food. Maybe avoid some of the pretzel and hot dog carts you'll find around the city, but there definitely are some gems that sell food from carts. Okay, item number four, something I hate. Um, lack of convenience, really, New York, uh, compared to like other big cities, particularly in Asia, really has no convenience stores. If you go to Tokyo, Hong Kong, Taiwan, place like that, there will be a convenience store almost every block. In New York City, it's actually really hard to find convenience stores. It's really hard to find supermarkets too. Uh, I'm not sure where people go to buy their groceries here, but supermarkets are few and far between. Lately, Whole Foods has been opening up some convenient locations, so look out for Whole Foods. The one on Columbus Circle uh, is one of my favorites. Uh, CVS and Walgreens or a couple other things to look for, but they're just really not that convenient. Um, so, now we are on to item number five, something I love. So something I love is the subway in New York City. And what do I love about it? I love that it runs 24 hours a day. What else do I love about the New York City subway? Nothing, uh, nothing else. Uh, so now we're on to item number six, which is something I hate, which is the subway. Uh, actually, what I hate about the New York City subway is it's old, it's run down, it's dirty, uh, there's rats on it, um, it's windy inside. Uh, mainly, it kind of only runs north-south on Manhattan, so if you want to go east and west, you're going to be walking. It's confusing, and one of the reasons why it's really confusing, often the entrances for a certain direction are just on one side of the street. So be careful and watch out. Make sure you get in the right entrance, because if you get in the wrong entrance, then uh, you won't be able to get where you want to go, unless you get out again and get back in, and then you'll have you know, wasted a bunch of money to try to get in the metro and you'll have to get in again. Okay, next item, something I love. I love the museums around here. New York City has tons of museums, lots of culture. Uh, there's the Guggenheim Museum. There's probably museums for almost every taste that you want. Uh, so definitely check out the museums if you're into that when you're in New York. Okay, next item that I hate, crowds. Uh, New York City has a lot of people. There's a lot of people that live here. There's a lot of people that visit here, and so there's crowds everywhere, particularly if you're in Times Square. Um, Central Park, actually, is one good place to get away from crowds. Uh, one of the reasons why I like it, so do try to find areas that uh, you get away from the people. Um, but, uh, you know, with the crowds, there comes long lines, and um, everybody's in a rush. Uh, so if you're walking on the sidewalk, um, don't stop in the middle of it to take a picture or you might, uh, you might just get run over because people are rushing always to get someplace. And uh, being from San Diego, I kind of like a little more relaxed style life. I'm sure, please New Yorkers, don't hate on me. I know you got things to do and I know you're in a rush, which is cool, uh, but uh, you know, uh, 
sometimes gonna slow down a little bit too. Okay, the next thing I love about New York is Broadway. And by Broadway, I don't mean the street, but Broadway, I mean the theater productions. Uh, when I come to New York, I love to see the Broadway shows. Uh, this time I'm gonna be seeing Avenue Q, uh, which, um, was an inspiration for the Book of Mormon, which is my favorite theater show. If you come to New York and that's playing, definitely check out the Book of Mormon. Um, you can often find half-price tickets. There's the TKTS booth that's in Times Square. You can often go online and find half-price tickets the day of, too. Uh, so definitely check out a show when you're here in New York City. Okay, the next thing I hate about New York is the hotel prices. Oh my lord, hotel prices in New York City are so expensive. It is super crazy. On this trip, I'm staying at the Park Hyatt New York. You can find a link to that in the description below if you want to see my review on it. But the Park Hyatt usually goes for like $800 a night. That is crazy. Um, if you want to find cheaper rates coming to New York, come in the winter. You can imagine that's probably why I'm here because you often find room rates $150, $100, uh, maybe $200 for some of the nice hotels in the winter. If you come in the summer though, expect to pay a lot of money. Um, Okay, the next thing I love is shopping. New York City has lots of great shopping. Everywhere you go, there's shops. Um, and the neat thing about the shops, too, is, uh, you know, it'll be the latest fashion trends, uh, and uh, so great places to shop. Okay, the next thing I hate are crazy taxi drivers. You know, it's convenient. There's a lot of taxis, and you can pick them up wherever you want to, but... You might very well get run over by a taxi if you're not looking where you're going. Because these taxi drivers, uh, they drive professionally, they're pretty aggressive, they honk their horn all the time. The horns really get to bother me after a while too. Uh, so when you're walking around, make sure you're paying attention crossing the street. Uh, don't be looking down at your phone, otherwise you might just get run over by one of those iconic yellow New York taxis. Okay, next thing I love, sort of a continuation from the previous one, but this one is new stores from around the world. New York City uh, is often one of the places that stores from around the world open first. Uh, stores like Uniqlo, Muji, uh, La Dore, uh, one of my favorite ramen places, Ipudo Ramen, they all open their first locations in New York City uh, when they were expanding in the US. Uh, someplace I'll be checking out on this trip, you'll probably find a video on that too, is Italy, which is an Italian supermarket. Uh, and uh, that was also first opened here in New York as well. So when you come to New York, definitely check out some of those unique international chains that make this their first location that they open. Okay, what's the next thing I hate about New York City? Um, the weather. The weather, did you? Okay, I'm from San Diego, so I'm used to like 70 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny most year round, but the weather in New York is almost never good. Um, today, it's, uh, it's cold. Um, you know, in the summer, it's hot. I think you can find about three days of good weather in the spring and about three days of good weather in the fall. So uh, be prepared for it to be hot and humid or cold and freezing. Can you see my breath? I'm not sure, but I can. Okay, next thing I love about New York is the architecture and just kind of walking around the city. You know, it's a very iconic city. Uh, looking around at the New York City skyline, these buildings, they do just seem really neat. And uh, not being from New York, it's kind of like walking around on a movie set. I mean, you see New York City in movies all the time. You see things like uh, where they lived in Friends. Uh, you know, you see. Um, Rockefeller Center on TV all the time. So it's really neat to come to New York and just see a lot of those things that are iconic American things. Okay, and uh, the final thing that I hate, this is number 16, uh, this is gonna be safety. And I know a lot of people say that New York City is actually really safe, but I'll tell you, it doesn't seem all that safe. There's certain neighborhoods you go at night and uh, I don't know, they're pretty sketchy. Uh, my wife particularly wanted me to add this one because she says as a girl, she often doesn't feel super safe walking around New York. One of the things that's also kind of interesting walking around the city, you'll see this like open basements of some of the brownstone houses. They don't really have any railings. And I think if you had a little too much to drink, you might find yourself uh, falling into the basement. So definitely uh, watch where you're going. So that's the 16 things that I love and hate about New York. Uh, so please don't leave me any um, hateful comments below about the things that I hate because I actually really enjoy coming to New York City. There's a few things that annoy me about every place that I go, uh, but it is, as I said in my last like about New York or love about New York, 
neat place to come because it's a thing that you see just about everywhere. It's iconic Americana. Uh, so uh, if you are thinking about coming to New York, definitely check it out. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the thumbs up button below. If you'd like to see more videos like it every Sunday, please consider subscribing. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Plus. Or you could check out some of these other videos that I've got from New York City and around the world. All right. Bye-bye.